Good evening, everyone. My name is Cole Banner, and welcome to a del slightly delayed um, <laughs> slash late um, Doncaster Gaming Market pickups video. Um, so it's not just going to be pickups. I'm going to talk a little bit about the event, um, but I did pick up a few bits while I was there. Um, I'd be honest, I didn't think I was actually going to be able to make it and did offer my tickets out, um, but thankfully stars aligned and I was able to get up there. Um, right, bright and early, I got the early bird ticket, so I was able to get in for the, I think it was 11 o'clock opening, um, set off nice and early as normally do, and was able to make really good time, got there in about an hour 20, um, and while stood in the queue, I uh, was approached by the first person that I met at the event, which was Feed Me Chicken. Um, hopefully it didn't come across that I was too dumb, um, because when he came over, shook my hand and said, hello, Mr. Corbanner, I just completely went blank i knew the voice but didn't know the face and my brain was just like I, I i can't put these two things together they just don't fit and it just suddenly dawned and um, that it was him and yeah we ended up standing talking in the queue for a good half an hour or so so it was really nice to catch up with him and um, he was there with his drug dealer as well um selling him his plastic crack um, but I had a chat with him as well. I bought a few games from him in the past. Um, and yeah, we talked about that and a few other things and what we were playing and what we were doing and where Alfie is and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it was really nice to sp see them and speak to them. Um, then whilst we were stood in the queue, uh, Callum, Retro Ghetto, came over and said hello. Um, really nice to see him. I haven't seen him since the last Doncaster. So it was good to catch up with him and see what he's up to talk about. His blog and oh, sorry, his vlog, not blog, and his um, PS3 Essentials. How he's finding collecting for that subset, and yeah, it was yeah, it was nice to talk to him. Really genuine, nice guy, um, and I appreciate him coming on the stream last weekend as well, straight after Doncaster, uh, jumping on talking about God of War. Um, then got into the event and was immediately greeted uh, by Dainster, um, Dana. He was stalling out with Ant uh, from Hidden Chest Gaming. Um, did end up buying a game from him. I'll come to that when I get to the pickups. Um, but nice to see him. Uh, and Ant uh, did a bit of a lap. Uh, ended up talking to Stu, 2 to UK. Uh, again, we haven't been stalling out, though. I didn't want to take up too much of his time. Um, but it was, again, really nice to see him and have a, a chat. Hopefully I fixed the camera a little bit. He says, just check in, yeah. Um, because with the lights that I've got, he said that I look quite pale and he thought I'd been out in the sun. And actually, it's well, it might be a little bit um, because I catch the sun like nobody's business. But um, yeah, I think it's just the lights bleaching me out. So hopefully it's a bit better now. Um, but I had a good chat with him and passed him a box of some fettling that he had planned. Um, so again, pleased to be able to pass something on to him. Um, in fact, I did go with a big bag of stuff and I just kept offering it out. I think Callum took some, um, God, I forgot the name, Kevin, Kev, um, the guy who does all of his signs and stuff. Didn't realise, didn't put the, again, didn't put the two things together. Um, but yeah, afterwards and watching his video, it's like, that's Kev, that's the guy who did the sign. And yeah, it just, it wasn't there. I'd, maybe it had been a long weekend and I realised. Um and then there were a couple of other people that I recognised stalling out, a guy who does a lot of buying and selling. Um, I believe Craig's here again, was there. I'm pretty sure I know which stall was his, but I don't know him well enough to just go over and introduce myself. I think I'd be a bit shy about it, and I'd also be more abashed um, if he didn't know who I was and I just came over like I knew him. Um, it just it felt wrong. What I need to do at one of these events is get someone who knows him and me to just make the introduction and we can, you know, hopefully uh, have a chat at that point. But um, it happened last Doncaster. I went over and introduced myself to someone and asked how they were and went over all confident and they didn't have a clue who I was and I, I, I felt a bit awkward afterwards. Um, so I didn't do the same. Didn't do the same again. Didn't want to make the same mistake. Um, did see Fop there as well. Um, said hello. Um, but again, don't know him well enough to have a, a full on conversation. Obviously, I've seen him in a lot of um, Retro Chefs videos um, where he does the um, I forget what it's called Swap Shop. Yeah. Um, so he's been on Swap Shop a lot, and so yeah, knowing from that. Um, but generally, just. It was a nice event. It was really packed, um, but wasn't heaving 
and there've been previous years where I've not been able to get close enough to the stuff to see what there is. At least this time, whilst it was still busy, if I waited around for 30, 60 seconds, somebody in front of me would move and I'd be able to jump in, have a look around, see what there was to see and grab a couple of bits. Um, who else did I see there? So after doing my first lap, um, found Phoebe Chicken again and he was still talking to Big Game Al. Um, had a conversation with him. Sean, Retro Games Revive was there. Um, again, don't think I've seen either of them since the last Doncaster, so it was really good to catch up with them. And they also had the Eversham Gamer with them, whose content I haven't seen before, so I threw uh, a sub his way just to see what sort of stuff he does. I'm sure it will be of interest to me because I do like watching other people's videos. And I've, whilst I, I don't get much time for commenting because I'm usually watching them on the TV whilst I'm working or whilst I'm doing something else, um, I don't. Um, mind watching new content and just seeing what other people have got put out there. Uh, what else? I think that's probably about it. Um, we did go out to the car at the end, and there were a couple of other tubers there. And I apologise, um, but I didn't catch channels. I just remember somebody saying, "Oh yeah, these guys have got YouTube channels." So, but didn't actually get any channel names. So sorry about that. If you are watching this, please let me know who you are. Um, I'd love to tag you in this and um, also throw you a sub just to see what you're doing. Um, but that's probably about it for the people and the place, um, I guess, onto the stuff, um, which is probably the main reason people come to my channel these days is Jim buys a lot of stuff. Um, so pre-arranged this with Feed Me Chicken. Um, he contacted me to say, have you got your PS1 list? I might have something for you. Um, sent it over. He said, oh, no, you've got the game already. Um, and it was a game I was actually missing the manual for, um, which is Fantastic Four. And so he passed this my way. He also gave me this guarantee card, um, which I don't think is for the Fantastic Four. I think it's for like a controller or something. But unfortunately, it just references this product. So I need to figure out what it's actually for so I can stick it in with the right thing. Uh, but I am very grateful for this. Um, it has already paid some dividends. I've had a quick look at it um, just to see the content of the manual because um, I, I love a manual. Back in the day, sitting on the bus on the way home with your new game, you'd read the manual till you got home. Um, but you can see here, which I didn't realise, that it's not just the Fantastic Four. You've also got She-Hulk in here, and you've got a list of all the levels. There's only five levels, um, and by the looks of things, because it only references three bosses by name, or three min bad guys by name. I'm guessing there's only three bosses, so really pleased to get this. And um, this is going to go pride of place in the game, and I'll hopefully find, as I say, the place for this. Uh, so thank you for that, Mr. Chicken. Uh, then managed to fill a box, so I'm with the box out of the way. Um, but at Hidden Chest Gaming, got myself a copy of Super Offroad. Uh, been after this for a while. I've had the box for probably near on a year. Um, but it's one of the reasons I hold on to the boxes is because eventually I will fill them. Um, and for only £5, I was very pleased to be able to put this one together. Um, don't have the manual for it yet, but it will all come together eventually. Um, as this stuff often does, I've got a pile of manuals, I've got a pile of covers. Eventually, I'll, I'll get all of the bits for one thing. Uh, he did also give me some leaflets. Um, I am going to quickly flirt through them because I think it's uh, a lot of stuff that's worth mentioning, um, including his own store. Um, so there's a big leaflet, biggest one in the pile. I'm not saying that there's some bias in there, but the biggest one in the pile was for Hidden Chest Gaming, um, which if you do end up down Hales Owen um, way, I would highly recommend visiting Dana's shop. Um, there are three shops all in that area, and all three of them are absolutely amazing. And the thing that sets Dane shops apart from the others is that he has a lot of toys and a lot of um, Pokemon cards and that sort of thing in there. Um, whereas the others tend to just focus on the video games. Dane's got a, a much bigger selection. Um, I bought Thundercats in there. I bought games in there. I, I love his shop and I am hoping to go down in June um, because I've got a week off for my birthday. So hopefully I can sort of line things up um, that I go down on, say, the Friday um, before and work it all out. Uh, also in there was what I thought was a sticker, but it's not. It's actually 10% off voucher for his shop. 
Um, so I will be taking this with me because if I do end up spending in there, it'll be nice to get a few bob off. Although I'll be honest, Dane and Ant's deals are usually pretty good. So, um, you know, there's not the usual, what can you do me on this? And in fact, the first time I went down there, he, he did just did that as standard. He had a look at the price and just said, call it this. And I was very happy with that. Um, there's a leaflet in here for revival, which is also in June. Um, and it's the week I'm off, um, albeit it's on a Saturday, Sunday. Um, I usually can't do Saturday things, but I might be able to get down on a Sunday. Um, so we'll see about that one. Um, but definitely worth a look. Um, I've been told that it's a, a very good event. Uh, and he also had a leaflet for uh, Claire, Retro Repair Bear. Um, and I do actually need to see her um, because I've got a couple of these. And case in point, it's still next to me because I need to sort it out. But I've got a couple of game gears that need recapping. Um, and I think when I messaged her, her prices were actually really reasonable um, for the work that needs doing. I know it's only a bit of soldering, but it's the skill and the parts that you're paying for, not necessarily the, the complexity of the task. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple of them that I need to take to her, so I might uh, whip them down with me when I go down in June and see if um, I can hand them to Dane and he can get them to Russ, he can get them to Claire, and we can work it out between us. Um but yeah, I would like to get them sorted so that I've got some working original hardware. Um, right, that was Dana. Um, I can't remember the name of this next stall. Um, but um, from a stall, I got uh, WrestleMania the arcade game. Um, this was priced at forty five. You can see it's in the wrong box, but I'm probably gonna steal this box for Wiz Kids. Um, but yeah. Uh, it was priced at 45 complete in box, um, but the cellophane thing that they've wrapped it in just... I opened it up to try and get the game out, and it just wouldn't come out, and I didn't want to rip it and damage it. So I did the next best thing and went... I can hear a manual in there. Yeah, okay. I, I trust that it's all right. It's complete with the manual. Uh, so bought this. Um, unfortunately, that's where this totally takes a bit of a... A crappy turn and um, there's a big mug mark on the manual um, where the paper's been ripped off um, it happens um, I should have opened it or should have tried to a bit harder um, there's also a sticker on the spine which is actually on the paper uh, he says can I get it to focus there we go um, I'm not overly worried about it uh, I did have a quick go at peeling it off just to see if the adhesive was pliant enough to go um, and I tried the hairdryer trick and it wasn't having any of it. So I need to get the lighter fluid out of the drawer um, and set fire to it. Or maybe just use the lighter fluid to break the adhesive down. One or the other. Um, so I'll do that when I come to replace the case. Um, because as I say, I'm going to steal the case for WizKids, I think. Because I think my WizKids is just in a normal case. Not one of the Acclaim ones. Um, and this needs to go into its right case, which is one of the... Cases which is one third, two thirds. Um, there's like two different styles of case. Well, there's several different styles of cases, but predominantly the blue spines win a slim, larger split rather than a 50 50 split. Um, then there was another store that I went to, and they had £15 on one of these games and £20 on the other. Um, asked if there was any movement, and they said, Yeah, we'll do £30 for the pair. Uh, I was very happy with that. Um, in essence, the one that was £15 I was hoping to get for about a tenner, so I got it for the price that I wanted. And the one that was £20 I wanted to pay £20 for, so I was happy on both cases. Um, but I got F15 uh, Strike Eagle 2. Um, this does need a case swap. You can see there's some plastic damage there, but I'll eventually find a case for it. I'm not overly fussed about it. The paper's not damaged, that's all that matters. Um, so, pleased to get that one um, and say... Worked out at about a tenner that I paid for that. Um, I also got Budokan, um, which is one of these horrible EA VHS cases. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, this is actually really, really nice. A bit of damage on the spine, but other than that, nothing I can complain about. Um, these are always notorious for damage along the tops because the paper doesn't sit in right, or they just they're just never in this nicer shape. So I am again really pleased with that. Um, and then finally, um, just before I left, um, went out to feed me chicken's car um, and his drug dealer. 
Um, mentioned that he had a few games in the boot and asked if I'd be interested. Had a quick flip through. There was only one in there that I wanted, and that is Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Um, this is one that I fancied for a while, um, but I just couldn't bring myself to buy. Um, but it's slightly different when you're getting it from somebody you know. You know, it, it it's not the same as just giving it to a faceless corporation. Um, but we did a swap, um, so I gave him on the SNES um, Star Fox or Star Wing. I forget which way it is. Um, it's not Lyle at Wars, that's a 64. Um, but yeah, I gave him Star Fox, Star Wing on the, the SNES, and the box wasn't in great condition, but he was happy to do a swap um, for that. So again, I was happy to receive it. And that's it. That's all I got at Doncaster. Um, I did, like I said, hope to find something nice there, but it just wasn't there for me. Um, but it was more about the day and I, I really did enjoy the day. Um, so thank you for everyone who came over and said hello. Um, apologies if I've missed somebody and forgot to mention you. Um, but please, if I've forgotten you or you saw me there and you said hi, please, you know, stick a comment or if you did see me there, but didn't want to come over, um, you know, please do next time. Um, I, I am always happy to meet somebody who watches the content and enjoys it or doesn't and wants to give me feedback. Um, anyway, that's everything I've got. Um, I don't want to go on for ages because this is already a 16 minute video and all it is is about eight games. Um, so thank you for watching um, and until next time, I'll see you in the